everybody. So you're working on some um, quick back to school menu recipes uh, that you can uh, make ahead of time. And this is Mindy. Um, and she and her girlfriends got together, what, about six years ago? About well, four years four ago, years we started ago. the Mule Exchange. Oh, yeah, it's such mm -hmm. a great idea. And they get together uh, once a month. They put uh, together all together, you know, hanging out together, a bunch of meals for their freezer. They leave there with their coolers and and um, dinner for you know six a, nights for the month. Great, mm -hmm. you know, it's so great. Saves money, healthy, new, different recipes, and you know, you kind of get her all done at one time, which yeah. is a really great idea. Saves so, money and trips to the grocery store. I love that. So this is um, our Philly. A uh, cheese steak sloppy joes. We took ground beef, added mushrooms, peppers, onions, a little bit of steak sauce and beef stock. Let that cook down, um, and now we're going to put it, let it cool a little bit, and we put it in freezer bags. Is that how that rolls? Yep, yep. If you want to double the batch and use a batch for the future, you can absolutely you let it cool down, throw it in a labeled freezer bag or container, and then when you want to use it, you thaw it. Put it on your buns, put a little slice of cheese on top of it, and throw it in the broiler. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. So here is the, the meal that we're going to eat tonight, but like we said, why not double them? Um, and, you know, you've got another freezer meal down the road. A little bit of provolone cheese on top in the broiler to toast it up. Absolutely. Oh, so yummy. Yes, okay, absolutely. so we're going to work on another recipe here. Tell okay. me about this one. All right, so this is our bacon um, wrapped barbecue chicken for the crock pot okay. with apples. So what we need to do is if you want to get chopping the apples you up, bet. we're going to mix everything in the bowl. Okay. It's two small apples, a small onion. Do you need to peel them or anything? or just Yep, if you want to peel them bad boys up and okay. chop them up. Okay, yep. you bet. Mm -hmm. So you like them in little the chunks? Is that how you yep, like them? Yep, smaller okay. chunks. Okay, you yep. bet. And I'll wrap the chicken for you while you're doing that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place it in a freezer bag. So both of these recipes are actually found in our cookbook. Which is just out, and people um, who want more about it, how can they get it? Well, actually, if they, they can purchase it through our website, and our cookbook is now at Blossoms in Denmark. Okay, yeah. very cool. So if you were doing this for your family, would you eat it one night, you know, as is, and then, uh, you know, kind of double it, like the same type of deal? So, you know, while you're assembling it, assemble one in the, in the slow cooker like you we have. You bet. Okay. You bet. Mm -hmm. So on those busy mornings, you just pull it out of the slow cooker or the freezer, dump it right in. The and girls laugh at me because I am the slow cooker queen. Oh, of me our too. Group. I, I love, love you. Laugh my all you want. Cookbook. Yep. Or my slow cooker. Me I too. love it. And we actually just got asked to um, come up with a freezer meal co op for just the crock pot. So we're going to be working on that next. I think that's a great idea. I really yeah. do. I don't know what I'd do without mine. And, you know, five minutes earlier, if you can get up in the morning and throw dinner in there, you come home after a really long day, dinner is done, the mm -hmm. house smells amazing, and it's just really yummy. Absolutely. I love the idea of some apple in here, too, mm -hmm. just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the chicken wrapped already in the bacon in a freezer bag. Or you stick it right in your crock pot. Or you pot. can put it right in your crock pot, yep. But or we're gonna both, you know, the one for the freezer and one for the crock pot now, okay. And another thing I love to do is using the crock pot liners too. You can put everything in your crock pot liner and then in a freezer bag. And then all you have to do is go right from the freezer to the crock pot. That's and you just have to idea. adjust your cooking time. Great idea. Yeah, those slow cooker liners are wonderful. Lots of dishes to wash. Love those. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything in that bowl. Okay, so we've got our apples. Just throw the apples in the bowl too? Yep. Okay. just go ahead and throw those apples in the bowl. Okay. Yep. Brown sugar, it looks yep. like. Yeah, brown sugar. Okay. Quarter cup brown sugar, cup of barbecue sauce, okay. and a an, uh, fourth cup of lemon juice. And that's going to keep the apples. You can go right ahead and wash mm -hmm. your hands. I know All you right. touched that Thank chicken you. and there's soap right there. So a little bit of lemon juice, and this is barbecue sauce. And my kids love barbecue sauce, so this sounds like they'd be all over this. And it makes your house smell amazing. I bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just mix that together. Yeah, we're going to mix that. And then some onion, too. Along with okay. the onion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Get all that mixed up. And we're going to pour that right in your freezer bag. I want to make sure all that brown sugar gets in there. We just we did our very first co-op a couple weeks ago for a mom that um, has a younger son that is actually battling cancer. So what we did for that group, um, we got 
six of her friends together and this was one of the meals we actually made for her and the friends came over and um, made the meals for her and then then Tara got the meal so oh, that was a really great way neat. it's another great way our co-ops can provide is for those new moms expecting moms or just those families who are looking for that extra little need at home right mm -hmm. that is great yeah so we're going to close this up and I like to double bag my Ziploc yeah. bags just in case you don't want to just in yeah. case right, yeah. right. just in case and it's already labeled, labeled and what it ready is the date go. you made it and you all that bet. So in the morning, can you throw it right into the slow cooker frozen? Um, I would not throw this one frozen in, okay. the, in because you want to let it kind of marinate a little bit okay. in, your, in your, so I like to take it out the night before. Okay, in your fridge and you put bet. it in your fridge, mm -hmm. let it thaw in the fridge. And let it marinate a little bit okay. and get those flavors going in that, in that chicken. So, and then you seal it up and get all the air out of it and you throw it in your freezer. It lays flat just like that. Yep, okay. you bet. And so here and here's it is. a finished product. And what would you normally serve this with if you were going to serve a side dish with it? Oh, in our cookbook we have um, some Asian green beans. Ooh. We have a um, mashed potato recipe, Ooh. twice baked potatoes. Ooh, that sounds good. We have a lot of different sides in our cookbook. Ooh, yum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All oh, right. Wow. Mmm. Smells awesome. And a great sauce. Mm-hmm. And another thing, Amy, that I absolutely love about our meal co-ops is that my kids and my family are trying different things that I would probably normally never cook. And I think that's really cool. Um, and you know, as, as if you have kids, especially the first few weeks when they're starting school, as we found out in our house last night, they walk in so hungry, so tired, mm -hmm. that they're pretty much, that's a great time to get them to try something new because they're so hungry anyway. Yes. Um, and if you start bringing some of these different new things to the table, I think you'll be surprised. When they're hungry and the house smells good, they tend to eat it. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much yes, for sharing. Thank you for really, really appreciate today. it. We'd love to have you back anytime. And Absolutely. for the recipes, you can get them on our website. We'll be back. Stay with us.